Should you get a windscreen for your bike? Do you have a windscreen, but you get too much buffeting and wind noise? First, the pros and cons. A good windscreen provides protection against road debris, rain, insects, and extreme temperatures. It can reduce wind noise dramatically, there is less rider fatigue on long trips, and it can protect your GPS and other electronic gear. The negatives, the wrong windscreen can actually increase wind noise. Buffeting can also be worse. Once dirty, they can reduce visibility, especially the tall windscreens. Cheap windscreens may also cause visual distortion. In hot weather, they can reduce airflow too much. Certain windscreens could be dangerous if you pitch forward and your neck or face make contact. Cheap windscreens can move and bounce over rough road surfaces. And finally, some riders want that full experience of wind in the face. Otherwise, they would just drive a car instead. There are many types of windscreen. We generally think there are three main categories for adventure riding. The touring windscreen, it's high and wide. It directs the wind away from the rider as much as possible. The standard windscreen is shorter. It is usually high enough to direct airflow away from the body, but it ensures a clean flow of air at the helmet. The rally windscreen. These have become popular with some riders because of races such as Dakar. They are usually very expensive and mount to the motorbike frame. A common complaint about windscreens is they can actually be louder and cause more wind turbulence. These are just some of the many factors involved. How tall is the rider? What is the angle of the helmet? How tall is the windscreen? How far forward is the windscreen? What is the angle of the windscreen? The touring windscreen aims to direct wind at the top of the helmet or completely over it. The standard windscreen aims for a clean flow of air at the helmet and reduces wind blast against the body. But there can be problems with wind noise and turbulence. For example, a tall windscreen that is too far forward may cause turbulence around the helmet. A standard windscreen with the wrong height can cause the same problem. If you are buying a windscreen, try to buy one where you can adjust the height and angle. It will often solve problems with wind noise and turbulence. When researching various brands of windscreens, some riders will say a particular brand is garbage, others will say it's brilliant. There are simply too many variables involved with rider height, body positioning, type of riding, speed and so on. Getting an adjustable screen will increase your chances of success. Some windscreen manufacturers also have design features which can help. Some windscreens leave a gap at the bottom. This reduces the vacuum pressure that builds up behind the windscreen and can cause air turbulence. Other windscreens may have holes at the bottom for the same reason. Some windscreens have a curved lip at the top which aims to direct airflow up and over the helmet. If you have a windscreen that isn't working well, another option is to add visors or extensions. A visor added to the top of the windscreen may be enough to direct turbulence away from your helmet. You can also put extensions on the side of the screen. Feeling adventurous? <laughs> Try making your own. I love the $5 garbage bin windscreen for the DR650. Simply cut the plastic, bend it, screw it on. It doesn't look very sexy, but it works well. Lately, I've been experimenting with a different design. <laughs> I was aiming for a slightly more rally look, but it's actually not a great idea. It's mounted too far forward and increases turbulence around the bottom of the helmet. So I need to trim the height more with this design. Protect your hearing. Research shows permanent hearing loss can begin with only 15 minutes of highway riding. A good helmet and windscreen will definitely help, but you should consider wearing earplugs as well for highway riding. See our video about noise-induced hearing loss. This is only a brief guide to windscreens. If you have more tips, let me know. I'll add them to the pinned first comment of the YouTube video. 
What are your experiences with windscreens? Love them? Hate them? What issues have you faced? 